Well, this is my uh, 1956 Lister LD1. Um, they say it's a first year production engine. It's got the aluminium cowling and the bolt on flat belt pulley. A lot of people are after these sort of pulleys. Um, obviously, the engine's running fast. It's rated at 1500 RPM, which is too fast for what I want, really. Um, what I want to do with the engine is um, drive this compressor, like use this as a permanent power plant for the compressor, as it would be a good enough engine for the job. And it's no knocks or nothing with the engine, so it's uh, perfect. So what I'm going to do is fit this pulley to the back. It's going to be loose at the moment. And I want to shut the engine down. I've got a 750 RPM governor, which we're going to fit to the engine today. And uh, I need to get a belt, so obviously it's not going to work the compressor today, so I've got to order the belt. And yeah, the belt alignment's perfect. And it will run it at the right speed, because this is half speed, so 750, I don't know what half of that is. Um, three and a half is 700 RPM. I'll probably have the engine shut down to that, so it'll be going about 350, or 375 if I have it a bit faster. And that's about That'll be enough for to drive the compressor, I would have said. Because I don't really want to be using a lot of air like that. I just want it thumping along so I could use the little spray gun or something on some jobs I want to do. So, uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking the other engine apart. I've got a 750 rev engine and it's in bits. So I'm going to take the back cover off, which is about this, like this. And pull it off. You've got to undo a little bolt in there, which is for the speed adjustment. Down here on the crankshaft, on the end of the crankshaft, there is a governor. I'll take the weights out, if they're different, and the springs, and put that into this engine. And I also need to take out one of the pump shims from the injector pump to uh, retard the timing a bit. So, because these engines are 26 degrees. Well, this, en this engine being 750 would be 26 degrees before. But an engine, well this engine here now, would be 28 degrees, so it's a Lister book. So uh, yeah, we'll sort that out. Otherwise, very, very good engine. It literally was a bit seized up. I freed it up, I don't know what, maybe some rubbish in behind the cowling. And uh, both valves were seized, so I just give them a tap with a rubber mallet, unseize them, put a fuel tank on it, didn't even need to bleed it, I just um, get a few swings, it was injected, and it fired right away. So, it shows how good these listers really are. There's no smoke with this engine either, as you've seen. Anyway, we'll, uh, I'll get the governor and then we'll uh, carry on from there. Well, I got the engine apart now, and uh, the back out. Uh, the governor's in there, pretty gummed up with oily, oily guns really. Um, that's the crankcase door. It's quite a lot of original paint and uh, inside the crankcase if you can see, it's like new. I don't think this engine's done a lot of work if I'm honest. It hasn't been apart before because the uh, gasket is completely original. The bolts are still out of paint all over them and uh, obviously due to having the transfer on there that the engine hasn't been repainted and it's completely original so uh, yeah got the governor out I think I pick it up yet because uh, I ain't got gloves on now but uh, that's inside the back it's quite uh, gungy in there where the oil hasn't been flowing back properly but uh, I'm gonna clean that out and get the other governor and we'll fit the other governor and it should be good to go I'm gonna make a little video clip in a bit of setting the valve clearance because the valve clearance is out. I've also dropped the oil. As you can see that's not very, uh, not a pretty sight really. So yeah, well, what I'll do now is I'll uh, flush the sump with a bit of paraffin, clean up the back, and uh, get the governor out with the other engine, and we'll uh, see. You how far we get to there. Well this is the donor engine 
um, I took the back cover off to find that one of the weights was completely broken off of uh, I don't know if it turned around of this part and the weight was down in the bottom there and the springs were also in there as well so obviously this engine had sort of uh, gone wrong but I've managed to salvage the springs quite mucky but I'll clean name paraffin and the weights they seem to be the same but I'm going to change them over anyway so uh, yeah and this speeder spring here the adjustment spring I'm going to change it as well because he's a bit um, well the other one's a bit tighter than this so I'll change this one around as well so uh, yeah I'll clean the parts up and get them in well I've um, fitted the governor now uh, cleaned it up a bit best I could really just with a cloth and uh, I was going to change the timing but I think I'm going to leave that well alone unless I have problems with the engine so uh, the timing is still the same being a bit advanced it may give the engine a bit more power so uh, never know so anyway I'm going to put the back back on now I'm not going to bother replacing the gasket because um, if it does leak I'll just replace it anyway but I haven't got enough cardboard at the moment to make a gasket up the gasket's intact still around the outside I'll just wipe it off so uh, yeah we'll put it together and then I'll put some fresh oil in it and uh, hopefully the next time you see it it'll be running again so yeah Now that's the engine all back together. Um, now, before I put oil in it, I want to uh, adjust the tappets. So to access the tappets and the rockers, you want to do those two bolts there. That one and that one. But because I've got this secondary tank on, because the uh, old one down there is buggered, I'm going to have to take the tank off. So uh, yeah, just undo those two. And then this cover will lift right off. You, need to wor you don't need to worry about the uh, decompressor because that's built into the actual rocker cover so uh, yeah we'll just undo now, that uh, we've undo the two bolts the tank is off so you just simply lift the top off and uh, I'll put it somewhere a minute and you've got your rockers now that one's being pushed a bit so I'll swing it back a bit Now, um, the book says these have to be two thousandths of an inch each, but um, I've seen problems with these before where the valves get hot and then they don't close properly. Um, I think Suffolk Simon had the same problem as that. So I'm going to put these as eight, eight thousandths, which is uh, a common size for most engines, really, between eight and twelve. So uh, I'll, you need to undo those, the lock nut there and there. The screwdriver slot for a slotted screwdriver, and you uh, just do up the nut a bit until uh, the gap here is correct, and then you just lock the nuts off again. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to bother filming it because it's quite simple to do. And uh, I'll put the top back on, fill it up with oil, and then uh, we'll see if we can get it going. Well, it's uh, just about ten past nine in the morning. I've just filled it up with oil and uh, we'll just see if it will start or no. I don't have a clue what's going to happen because it's uh, stone cold. I've literally just filled it up with oil. So, uh, yeah, just set it in the old position. Prime the oil, it's only just gone in there fresh. Now we'll go for a start. Running at 
that banging sound is just the uh, compressor pulley. The guy just sang on the pulley, it stopped. Just the um, excess fuel, because I think that one, I think he's constantly on excess fuel, which is why he's smoking. It's a bit better, but I think the uh, pump time is a bit out, because I slowed the engine down and never bothered taking the gym out. back shouldn't really put it on the shaft loose really yeah so uh, I've successfully slowed down a list rail d1 um, hope some of you want to do this find this uh, helpful and uh, when I finish the compressor set I'll make another video so uh, for now thanks for watching <laughs>